Hi everybody, Ben Myers back here with our new account, Cards Podcast. Uh, We're going to walk through some early deck design, some just decisions that I'm going to be making with this new account with the cards we opened from last week. And uh, first thing you're going to see when you come back into cards is your daily missions. And these are really good for the gold that they're going to generate. Essentially, you're going to be working towards half a pack if you can pull these different accomplishments off every day and get one new one per day. So want to win with Germany as an ally, bombers, and play 40 British cards. Okay, so we'll take a look at our collection, see if we can match any of these. But the one big thing uh, you want to keep in mind is at least to double check your progress every day and have some stuff to be working towards. So like frontline, like we don't know what we have to do that, but stuff like overrun, move 50 units into the front line. Okay, well we can do that and get two gold, sure. Uh, play fear some fury units, play heavy armor. So we haven't started on any of these yet, but you know, you play five British cards, you get two resources. Play five Japanese cards, you get two resources. So that's great. Let's uh, let's put a deck together and start working on some of these, and um, let's see what we got in our collection. So we have just the starters still, but we're gonna start with a new deck. And, well, actually, before we do that, let's hit the collection button down here in the bottom right, and let's hit the show all. Well, not show all. Let's see. Let's just spin through what we have so far. So, what do we have? We have, oh, well, okay. This is our only elite card we have, and it's a discard enabler. But we also have this 10th Engineers Battalion. Adjacent ground units have plus two attack. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, maybe we can do something with that with artillery? Hmm. Um, let's keep spinning through what we have here. Okay, we have the makings of some aggressive decks from some German and some German and Japanese cards, maybe some American cards. We have 14 resources, so we can make another uh, standard level card if we want to. Um, hmm. So, a little trick is to go down here in the bottom left and type in elites and we can see okay we have one elite card Let's see what we have for specials all right so we have some more specials okay so we have a yak nine a saran and a 10th engineers battalion yak nine's a pretty powerful card okay Let's see what we got for limited cards all right so we have one kid yusha um uh, okay we have some okay let's see Let's think here. Let's go with uh, maybe an artillery deck. I think we can do an artillery deck between some nice uh, Soviet artillery and some American artillery. I think that'll work. Soviets and Americans have some good removal orders too. So uh, yeah, let's try that. Let's try a Soviet USA deck. And let's see, let's put in our 10th engineers. Let's put in our bloody sickles that we have. And we're actually going to craft another bloody sickle. So how you craft a card, you click on the card and it says create card. It says how many resources you need. So we hit create and it takes our resources and we get one more copy of that card. So that's great. We'll put another one of those in. Let's see. Let's put some of these anti-aircraft guns in. Let's put a 463rd in. We're going to be pretty close to the ground. We're going to be pretty... Um, we're definitely going to want these Greyhounds. We're going to put a Patriotic Firestorm in, because then we can make our artillery even that much better. Um, we want these from the Peoples. Let's see. And as you, as I keep putting cards in, watch these numbers up here. We can have up to 40 cards in the deck total. You can have 12 from your ally, and then the rest from your main power. So let's put these howitzers in. Let's put a Katyusha in. We got 19 more cards we can do though. Okay. Let's put a howitzer in. Let's put some 84th infantry regiments in. Hmm. We can only put one more American card in. But we can put plenty of Soviet cards in still. So let's put in a a second motor rifles. Our curve is looking pretty good. Um, let's see, let's see, let's do, um, a death from above for our last American card. 
Let's do a 95th rifle. Let's do a couple 95th rifle regiments. Let's do a couple of these big bombers. Let's put our Yak-9 in there. A couple of these T-34s, sure. All right, let's see what else we got for some cheaper things for the Soviets. Because we can't put any more American cards in. Let's put these T-70s in there. They have guard on them, and they can protect our artillery. All right, and we get one more card. Let's see, is there anything that we have, to, that we have in the Soviets that does damage still? Um, hmm, doesn't look like it. You know, maybe we'll just drop one of these SU-76s in there. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Let's drop one of them in. It doesn't hurt us too bad. Our curve was not too bad. We get a little expensive at the top end of it, but I like this deck. We'll call it, um... Arty party. All right, so our our plan is to get out some early American units and uh, rush up and grab that front line, then drop some artillery behind them, and then our patriotic firestorm will come in at the end and make our artillery really strong, and then we'll win that way. All right, so that's one deck. <clears throat> And then one I always suggest that people make right off the rip is Japan and Germany. And this will be our burn deck to get us started. So we definitely want the 15th Cav. Um, we definitely want our... Well, we might not definitely want those. So let's go through the rest of what we have. We're Japan first. So let's throw some Himeji regiments in. Let's see what else. We definitely want our Type 93. We want some Rising Suns. We want some Panzer 2As for sure. Let's see. Let's grab. Let's put those Pioneers in. They make our front line very strong. We're down to five German cards though, so we just gotta be careful with what we put in. Definitely want these Kitas. Let's put in. Let's see. Let's go with one of the 37 mils. Well, let's go two 30.7 mils and three of the Panzer Grenadiers. So we're very low to the ground right now. Actually, we're going to take out one of the, actually two of the Panzer Grenadiers. And we're going to put in a Panzer 35T. We're going to put in a Sudden Strike. Let's see. We're going to want an Amphibious Assault. We want a Coastal Howitzer. Let's see. Oh, all of our Hayabusas for sure. We want all of our Me Too regiments. Um, maybe not on the Naval Operations. Let's see. Let's, let's put our Shiran in there. Oh, and we have a Panzer 3J. So let's put that in. We'll take a Grenadier out and put a Panzer 3J in. Um, let's put these Chihas in. They make our infantry that much better. And we got three cards left. Ooh, we have some good high-end German cards here, too. Um, but I think instead we're going to go with three zeros at the top end of our curve. So we're a little heavy on three. But... We don't have a lot of orders just yet. We're very unit focused. And Reichsbank's interesting, but that might be more of a German-Japanese build as opposed to a Japanese-German build. We don't have a lot of card draw in this deck though, and Blackout is a very effective card draw. So I think we're gonna take out two of the 3.7s. And Let's see, is there one more German card we want to take out? Hmm, let's take out, nah, let's take out one four pioneers. We'll put these blackouts in, just to give us a little bit more card draw. All right, our curve's a little wonky with that one, but it's an aggressive deck, and it's pretty low to the ground, so let's put aggressive up here, just so we remember what it is. Let's hit done, and you know what? just get in there and get started, right? We're going to start with our aggressive deck. So this is a Japanese-German aggressive deck. We just want to get after the opponent's HQ. Ooh, a little notification there in the background. Sorry about that. 
All right, so we're up against Pilot 2969. Good luck to Pilot. Um, these blackouts will keep. This coastal howitzer will keep. The Me Too regiment will actually throw that back. We're hoping to see an Akita regiment. Okay, we didn't see one. But first turn, we're going to play a blackout and just get a draw in. Okay, zero. We're very far away from playing that. But that's okay. Got to start somewhere. Next turn, we can play another blackout. All right, so they have a 506. Okay, we get a Hayabusa. That's a very good card. So let's go with Blackout to start again here. And another Hayabusa. So we're going to get pretty strong in a hurry here. We're going to hold on to this Coastal Howitzer until we can make sure it's protected. All right, and our opponent's coming after us with a 506. So let's put a Hayabusa out there. We can take out one of these infantry regiments. All right, our opponent getting a little aggressive. And they have a use ace. Okay. So you have some good cards, for sure. But we can make a, we can make a comeback here, I think. Let's see. Our coastal howitzer could come down. But we're actually going to just take out... Um, hmm. Yeah, let's take out one of their infantry. And we'll pass it her. So they have a Greyhound, so they're going to be pretty strong in the front line. Okay. Well, hmm. Let's go with uh, another Hayabusa attack. We're falling a little bit behind here, but hopefully we can make a comeback next turn with uh, maybe a Hayabusa attack here. We just need to get this down to three toughness, or three defense. So, let's see. But the good part is, even if we lose this game, we're working on our resources. So we're getting our resources built up, and that's very valuable. Okay, so a Panzer. That's, that's good. We gotta take out this uh, 506th though. So let's do an attack and then we'll snag it with this Panzer 2A and then let's draw a card with Blackout. So this Howitzer could be trouble but next turn we can rush in there with a Panzer and take it out or we have our own gun that we can fire at it. So let's see what Pilot's got going on. All right, so they have a pretty strong unit there, but it does it is slow since it's infantry. All right, so we have a Meiji regiment. Okay. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. What are we gonna do here? Well, let's go a Meiji regiment, and then Panzer 35T. Move our Panzer up, and let's. Um, okay, then let's do a Pioneers battalion. Let's take, or let's hit the howitzer, and then let's get our 28 centimeter coastal howitzer down. So our coastal howitzer will probably get hit, but we have a little bit of protection in the front line right now with this Panzer 35 tier. And this coastal howitzer can take over a game for sure if they don't have something that can deal with it. So an Awoken Giant, good for them, good on them. All right, and then a Greyhound. All right, let's see if they move this 8th Cavalry. Doesn't, well, if they attack with their Howitzer, then they're not going to. So they attack our Himeji Regiment, knock it out, but that's fine. They can still move their Greyhound. They decide not to. Interesting play. So let's take this front line back with our Panzer. Let's take out their Howitzer. Let's take out their plane. Let's move our pioneers up just to protect our howitzer a little bit more, and I'll pass the turn back. So they have more cards than us. They're they're in the driver's seat right now. They've also hurt our hurt our HQ plenty. So they play a couple of units, and they're probably going to attack with both. I would guess both of these. 
All right, but we can take out the first. We are the eighth cav. We can take them out. Okay, and we get another zero here too. That's very helpful. So let's see. Let's take out the eighth cab with our howitzer. Let's attack the. Hmm. A little bit of a decision point for us here. Let's t let's hit the greyhound. That's a little bit more um, threatening. If we can get a zero up into the front line, that'd be. That'd be great, because then we can draw a couple cards with the Rising Sun. All right, so it looks like our um, Pioneers are probably going to go down here, but they're protecting our Howitzer still. A little bit of a shield from whatever our opponent's up to. All right, so they take out our Pioneers, but they can't move this 506th. And then we can probably blow up this... Oh, okay. So they have a death from above that takes out our howitzer. Good play by our opponent. But we get our Saran, which is really, really good. So let's play um, another zero and hit this 506. Then let's strafe and take out the 463rd. And then next turn, hopefully, we can just move one of these zeros into the front line and get some card draw going here. We haven't seen any of our aggressive uh, infantry units yet. So hopefully we either draw one or we can move something forward. All right, so a Sherman for our opponent. And then a 30th Regiment. And we do. We grab one of our aggressive infantry units, so that's excellent. Let's draw some cards and pull ahead here a little bit. Another Me Too Regiment, a Meiji. All right, another Rising Sun for us. Okay, couple of Chihas. Let's get another Me Too Regiment up in the front line, though. Kind of make our opponent come to us a little bit. So let's get our Hameji Regiment down. We got a nice board or a nice battlefield built out. Start getting some strafing runs in here at the HQ. Those two Rising Suns really helped us pull ahead here. Alright, so 463rd and another 8th Cav for our opponent. So they're empty-handed now. Take out our Me Too, but it does hit their HQ. And take out our other Me Too. Okay, for some reason, it doesn't look like those registered on their opponent's HQ. Well, that's a little frustrating, but eh, that's how it goes. All right, so let's see. Our opponent has pretty strong board built out as well. So let's put our uh, Hemeji Regiment up in the front line. Play a Chiha, make it very strong. Um, and then we're going to want to start getting some strafing runs done here. Um, in a hurry. So let's play another Himeji Regiment. Hmm. Because what our opponent can do is they can take out this Himeji and then run the Sherman in here. And that's trouble. The infantry is not as threatening. So I think we're going to want to strafe the HQ and then we want to take that Sherman down. Now let's play our other Chiha. So we can take out anything that our opponent has with our Chiha, depending on what they top deck. So we get rid of one, but the rest are infantry, so we get first crack at them when they come up. All right, they get another Sherman and draw with it. Good play. Ooh, and a P-51. Ooh, but a sudden strike for us. All right. So that takes out anything that costs three credits or less. So only thing is our 30th Regiment right now. So let's blow up the 30th Regiment. All right, and can we win the game here is the question. We can do 11 damage to their HQ. So let's do three and six. Move our Himeji Regiment up and we'll do now they can do 10 to us, but can they get our, through our front line to do it? Um, hmm. 
Let's put our Saran out there. Let's... Oh, don't have enough credits. To, oh, shouldn't have put the Saran out there. Miscounted. So, a little bit of a mistake. But they have to get through a pretty good front line. Alright, so they have another plane. Let's see what they do with this P-51. That's going to really change how this game goes, what they do with that P-51. So we take out the Sherman, that's great. Okay. Oh, let's see what they're gonna do. Okay, so they go after our HQ, good play. But I think that wins us the game, actually. So actually, probably not the best play, because they attacked with this 8th Cavalry. So now we can attack their HQ. And then we can strafe them with a zero, and we get the win. So that's good. Good good way to start, getting a win right out of the gate with our Japanese-German deck. So we get our little victory, pick up a star, and complete some of our daily th tasks. And then, okay, so we'll cut this one a little bit shorter than some of the others, but after you win, always check your profile. And then go over to progress and see what you picked up. So we picked up a bunch of accomplishments. So we can claim some accomplishments. We actually get to claim two Japanese accomplishments right out of the gate. So we're back up to 12 resources already. That's great. Claim a German one. Claim two gold from winning. And claim some others here. So we're up to six gold, 14 resources already. And uh, we got a win. So that's kind of our first game. That's a little bit of deck building for you. And uh, we'll be back again soon with uh, some more gameplay from this fresh account. But uh, if you like our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash cards podcast, or just follow along, like, share, subscribe, or tune into a stream on Mondays at 6.30 Eastern USA. And uh, hope this was um, pretty informative and uh, hopefully we can keep it going. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.